All right, man. Tim Zoo is asking for the WBO to strip Jamal Charlo. Now, it's a rumor going out there saying in a week they going to strip him, but I don't know how true the rumor is. But I just want to kind of talk about this and then the inconsistency in boxing when it comes to who gets stripped and who not gets stripped, who holds the title, who don't hold the title. I mean, you got the WBA saying they reducing Reggie champions, but they yet to strip Tank Davis as Reggie belt. Um, you got uh, Canelo Alvarez, who been holding up the holding up a whole division, holding up Benavidez, even though you can blame Benavidez for losing his title on a scale, holding up Benavidez, uh, holding up David Morrell. Um, I mean, we can go, we can go on and on and on and on and on, like Eric about do about it. And you know, he been he being allowed to do what the hell he want to do. So, I mean, like I said, you can even go to uh you can even go to uh what's the uh Tyson Fury being allowed to fight Francis and Ghana. And then you know, proving that fight instead of fighting a real contender. When the last time Tyson Fury fought somebody last year. Then that joker got a rematch clause, which is 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 it, it, hilarious. But um let's talk about this. Tim Zhu wants Jamil Charlo stripped of the WBL 154 pound title. And he said, I thought it could this couldn't be real. It's on Marcus Vegas, Vegas channel on Fight Hub. He said, I thought this couldn't be real. I saw it on uh Canelo's official page, said Tim Zhu about Jamal to Fight Hub TV about Jamil Charlo fighting Canelo Alvarez on September 30th. He said, Canelo, he's the face of boxing. So anyone that get offered that fight, they're going to take it. The fact that he has Jamil hasn't fought in a year and a half. I've been mandated to fight for the WA title. It's too much politics. If he's not fighting, uh, the belts have to be vacated. Uh, it's quite simple. It's not fair. The whole division is being held up because of him. Tim Zhu said about Jamil, it doesn't make any sense. There's a bit of anger, of course. There's a bit of anger, says Zhu. He's uh, been on my hit list for such a long time. He's been my goal. Everything was discussed. Everything was ready. And then his brother decided to pull off the, pull out uh, something. Then Jamel decided to take it. I think he meant pull out. He said, I think it's going to have going to be in Vegas October 14th. I think it, it was the MGM Grand said Tim Zhu when he asked about Jamel was supposed to fight. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Jamel's four titles, but I think he should be stripped, Tim Zoo. Now, um, uh, life ain't fair. Like too short, say life is too short. But uh, it ain't fair, but, you know, all it is going on, in my opinion, is Al Heyman is paying them to keep them belts on ice. He don't want to turn over control of the division. I told y'all he Jamel wasn't going to fight Tim Zoo. I told y'all he was no way he was going to risk Jamel Charlo giving up them belts, giving up them belts to, in Australia. I told y'all that, but nobody wanted to believe me. Oh, he, he ain't going to beat Tim Zoo and he going to fight Tim Zoo and he going to beat Tim Zoo. And it's an easy fight for Tim Zoo. Right? What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all? I told y'all from the very beginning that he wasn't fighting him. I told y'all. But Al Heyman was not rich. Jamel been in too many shaky ass fights, bro. He been in too many shaky ass fights, bro. For them to turn over that division. For him to turn over that division to Tim Zoo. He's been in too many close fights throughout his, his whole campaign. Castanos, um, you know, John Jackson. Uh, 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 I mean, you could just keep going on and on and on. Demetrius Hopkins. He's been in a bunch of close-ass fights. He been in a bunch of close ass fights, and they wasn't gonna risk it, him getting in there with a puncher. And then basically they reward, um, they reward to him was just giving them fights on 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 Showtime. The intention was never for them to fight. I'm telling you, he was not gonna fight the man. And now he get the hold of the division. 
right? Because he's still paying the WBO because he's fighting Canelo. Regardless, it's for all the belts. You know? You know? You know? So, that's just what it is. But let's see what else he got to say. Then I kind of really get into it. It's not fair for Charlo to freestyle. It becomes ridiculous. It's not fair. I think Jamel is going up to 68. I don't think he's going to come back down and start defending all this mandatory, said Tim Zhu. He said, uh, if the WO, you know, he said, I think they're going to uh, make undisputed, undisputed as a marketing type thing. And then he's going to be stripped. That's my thought. Yeah, to become the undisputed champion, it takes years by fighting. Uh, for each mandatory uniform, the bills understand that I'm not staying in a division for as long as possible, says Zoo. So he's somewhere he's gonna move up at some point. So if he, if I can make those big fights happen now, possibly unify and be able to fight for two belts or something like that, then that's something I want to do. Uh, then I'm going to chase Jamel anywhere he goes, Tim Zoo said. So I mean, watch the whole, whole interview on Fight High. What do you think he get knocked out? He said, I think Chuck Canelo knocks Jamel out, in my opinion. So he think he's going to get knocked out. But nonetheless, um, nonetheless, uh, you know, it's just too much inconsistency on, in boxing. And it's just not like, oh, it's inconsistency amongst the WBA, WBO, IBF, WBC. No, it's inconsistent inconsistency over 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 you know in the same goddamn um in the same in the same sanction the bell body you know what i'm saying the wbc quick to strip you know they quick to you know um uh, um they offer some guys the, the franchise championship to duck people then other guys you know you got to fight your man you got two or three mandatories and for other guys, you ain't got to defend your mandatories in, in years. And all it is is cash for play. That's what it is. It's cash for play. It's cash for play. I keep telling y'all that. These dudes are paying these sanctioned belt bodies, in my humble opinion, for these dudes to keep these belts. Just how Carlos Adama signed the PBC, and he the interim champion. Al Heyman is making sure Jamal Charlo stayed the interim champion, interim champion. He's making sure that happens. You think the WBC going to sit there and not make no money off Jamal title and just get that little money they're getting off Carlos Adamas? No, nah, man, they getting the wire. They getting the cash app. They getting the wire for Jamal holding that title. And when you don't have a push behind you, you end up like Devin Haney and they end up ordering all these mandatories because ain't nobody funneling money to them. In my opinion, and we all know how I go. That's how they votes go. That's why everything, everything in a in a in a uh, everything in a in a rule book say well, subject to a vote could be overridden by a vote or something like that. That's because the votes are getting paid. They getting paid to influence the vote. In my opinion, like I said, there's no consistency. None whatsoever. And that's what people that's what people need to understand. There ain't no consistency. You know, none whatsoever. And we know life ain't fair, but damn, this dude been waiting for three years for a shot. Devin Haney been, you know, undisputed champion for a year. Canelo been holding that belt up for years now. And then the WBO said, well, you know, it was a mandatory when he fought, you know, so-and-so. How? <laughs> Some of their rules just simply don't make no sense because it's all cash for play. And that's what I'm trying to point out to y'all. Where, where is the consistency? 
That's all I'm saying. This ain't the Devin Haney thing. This ain't the Tim Zhu thing. Where's the consistency? Because then again, a lot of y'all gonna be bitching and plan complaining when y'all favorite fighter on the wrong on the wrong side of, of, of this of, of this of this um of this of this this issue. A lot of y'all gonna be complaining. Let's keep it real. A lot of y'all gonna be complaining when y'all favorite fighter getting done done raw. Let's not forget they granted Canelo the franchise title to Doug Jamal Tar Charlo. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget it. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.